Are you a data science enthusiast and aspire to crack the trending job profiles like the AI engineer, machine learning engineer? Then one thing is pretty much clear that machine learning is going to be the core of all these things. The first and foremost thing you will be working on is to build a machine learning model. But my simple question to all of you, is it going to be enough or this is the only task you will be working on? Then my answer is absolutely not because this is the smallest part of the entire development life cycle of any product. Once you are done with the creation of machine learning models, then comes the main challenge to productionize it because if you have created something and you have not made it available for others to consume it, then it is of no use. And this is how the development life cycle of every product works in the industry. First, you will be developing something and then you will productionizing it. The deployment and the productionization of your machine learning models involves multiple steps. First, starting with the testing part, the unit testing, integration testing, then the CICD pipeline development where you will be using different tools to automate the entire development from different environments like the development, staging and the production, then alerting, monitoring part and you have to follow certain industry grade best practices to deploy your machine learning models into the production and this is what the ML Ops is. And nowadays ML Ops has become the norm of any data science AI ML related job profile in every job description you will see that they are expecting the candidate to know about the ML Ops because once you are done with the development part of your machine learning model whatever use cases you have solved you need to take the responsibility to take it till the end like the production and then feedback and the multiple iterations on top of it and nowadays without these ML Ops skills things will be really really challenging for you to get the job opportunities and you won't even believe companies have started the dedicated job profiles for the same like ML Ops engineer they are literally hiring for this type of role itself and that is why I am here to help you all with a precise step by step roadmap that if you want to learn the ML Ops specifically then what kind of step by step things you need to work on what kind of tech stack you need to cover I have break it down this roadmap in the phases so if you will be able to follow this sequential roadmap in couple of months you will be ready with all the ML ops related thing and you will be pretty much confident and you will be able to deploy your first machine learning model as well so make sure to watch this video till the very end and follow this amazing roadmap for the ml ops in 2025 and comment your email id in the comment section and we will be sending some amazing free pdfs and resources to learn these things as well on your email id and also important announcement for those who want to learn these things dedicatedly with the industry grade projects in the live classroom environment if you are looking for the same at the affordable prices and the industry level real world exposure from the AI engineer who is already working in the industry. Then we are coming up with our first ever ML Ops Bootcamp and this will be live classroom bootcamp starting from 15th of Feb itself. So just a couple of days are left. We will be taking you in this ML Ops journey from basic to advanced. You will learn everything from the scratch with good number of detailed projects. So link has been given in the description. Live classes are starting from 15 Feb or you can visit www.growdataskills.com to know more details about the same. And if you have any query, any doubt, then make sure to give us a call in this number itself. And you already know that at Grow Data Skills, we do not only teach, we also support our students with the doubt solving in the live classes itself and offline doubt support on the discord plus the dedicated placement assistance along with so many number of assignments courses interview preparation guide and many more so without a doubt you will be getting all these things here at growita skills so now let's quickly talk about the ml ops roadmap for 2025 and beginner to production so it's obvious like basic to advanced so in the phase one first of all you need to focus on the data fundamentals so we have prepared this roadmap considering everyone who is coming from nothing kind of background starting with the sql going to be very uh, important like performing the join operation group by window functions indexing optimization you need to know a bit about the dbms concepts as well how the databases actually works so that is the first thing next is going to be the excel for the quick data analysis and the exploration how it looks like before actually moving on to the development part so things like pivot tables in the Excel, how to apply VLOOKUPs, data cleaning and the pre-processing, how to create the charts and do the visualization in the Excel itself. Then Python is going to be the entire, you can say, bread and butter for you in this 
profile itself so python for the data handling you need to work on important libraries like numpy pandas matplotlib and seaborn for the basic visualization need to know a bit about the apis and web scrapping so this is what you need to cover in the phase one like setting up your base setting up the tone for the advanced sections now in the phase two this is the part where your machine learning will come into the picture so understanding of machine learning some essential concepts of ml like supervised and unsupervised learning regression and the classification decision tree random forest exeboost uh, overfitting and the generalization of the uh, ml models then coming the important part model training and the evaluation how you are going to train your machine learning model you have built and the evaluation of it so train test is split cross validation metrics like accuracy precision recall rmse then feature engineering and the data pre-processing part after that the introduction of machine learning frameworks so what all frameworks you are going to use basically so scikit-learn tensorflow pytorch so the hands-on part will be really really helpful now the deployment cycle and ml ops fundamentals so phase one phase two have done the ground level work for you to move on to the next step from where the deployment process will actually come into the picture so here you need to know the software engineering basics like when you are working as a developer in any organization building something building any code then uh, what all things we basically use for the code versioning how we do it the commands the uses of it all those things you need to work on that's why you need to know a bit about the git github gitlab for the version controlling docker for the containerization then fast api and flask so this is what you need to look at after that ml development life cycle so how to package your model and the versioning part of it because multiple development iterations will be there so anytime you are changing it making some enhancement then how you are going to package it with all dependencies whatever it is needed there and versioning of it then creating apis for the machine learning models then model deployment strategies like batch versus real time then phase four is going to be about ml ops tools and the cloud platforms as well because we'll be using the cloud services if you have to deploy your ml model on the cloud itself so model versioning and experiment tracking with ml flow dvc like data version control coming to the ci cd continuous integration continuous deployment of the machine learning so tool like jenkins github actions for the ml workflows then cloud platforms and important services so with aws like s3 lambda and SageMaker for azure azure ml aks blob storage for gcp vertex ei cloud run after that coming to model monitoring and logging so tools like prometheus and grafana and elk tech stack like elasticsearch logstash kibana and then the final phase obviously the real world projects so once all these things are done for your roadmap you are confident enough then you need to stitch all these things into a real world project so few project ideas like image classifier api using fast api and docker build an end-to-end -end ml pipeline with ml flow and airflow set up monitoring dashboard for an machine learning model using grafana so these are a couple of project ideas which can be implemented after going through with these skills so here just a final summary uh, to conclude this roadmap so sql python plus excel then machine learning basic and model deployment then docker plus fast api plus ci cd tool and tech stack cloud services if you are following any specific one then the monitoring and the automation part and the logging of it so this is how the entire roadmap is gonna look like so you can follow it sequentially step by step and very soon you will be ready with the required and trending skill set to handle this MLOps part as well and if you are targeting the MLOps engineer profile dedicatedly as well and as I said this has become the norm of other data science AI ML related profile as well so this is a must thing for you to follow and learn with practical project and as i said in our first ever mlops bootcamp which is going to be live classroom bootcamp we will be covering these things step by step so let me quickly show you the entire curriculum here quickly and as i said you will be getting the practical learning hands-on along with the certificate of uh, completion so this is how we are going to get started with the step-by-step -step things so ml and mlops fund foundations then version controlling and experiment tracking 
after that the containerization with the docker kubernetes ml workflow then coming to the kubernetes for ml ops dedicatedly this is what we will be looking at after that monitoring and model drift so this is going to be the module 5 then the continuous integration and deployment so the tools like jenkins github action then coming to the real world projects so end to end two projects we will be working on so this is going to be eight weeks dedicated live classroom bootcamp just last 30 seats left so hurry up and join this bootcamp to get started with the ml ops in 2025 so as i said live classes are starting from 15th of feb link has been given in the description hurry up enroll today and you can also visit www.growdataskills.com to know more about it if you have any doubt or question then make sure to give us a call or whatsapp message on this number and if you find this roadmap video really helpful then make sure to share it with your fellow friends as well and if you have anything to add then feel free to do that in the comment section as well so this is what i had for all of you in this video i will see you guys really soon with other roadmap video as well for the data analytics till then just bye bye and take care